Where those people were hide all this time? Well, the ideas, the anti-liberal ideas are, are always there. And I would argue, really, and this is what Ayn Rand... They were ashamed to speak loud? No, they've changed their mind. People change their minds. Mm. And what has happened is that the, the ideas of individual freedom have not been defended properly and have not, have not been grounded properly, grounded philosophically, grounded in ideas. And they have been weak for, you know, for 200 years they've been weak. And it, they go up and down, so sometimes they're a little bit more popular, but they're never really popular, and you never really see them fully implemented. Mm. So uh, when, when somebody comes up on, uh, when there are problems, like, I don't know, the mass immigration in Europe, or economic problems, or economic slowdown, and demagogues on the left and the right rise up and they say, you know, it's, those, it's that individual freedom, that's what's bad, we, we need more control, we need more planning, People always seem to, to, that seems to resonate with them. And until, I think it's, it's incumbent on us, those of us who really believe in freedom, those of us who believe in individualism, those of us who believe in the human mind and, and reason, it's incumbent on us to, to, to be better at how we defend the case for capitalism, the case for freedom. I think we've been weak. I think we, we're, we're not philosophical enough. We're not foundational enough. We're not, we're not radical enough. You know, the left has no problem being radical. And even the right has no problem being radical. But, but, but we on the, you know, we want a little bit of capitalism. We don't want to shake the boat too much. Well, I don't. I want capitalism. I want the privatization of everything. I want true free markets. And that's something we need to fight for and we need to present. You know, young people want to believe in something. They want an ideal. They want something they can fight for. And socialism is very, very good. And so, to some extent, is conservatism in presenting them with an ideal worth fighting for. We're not. We need to romanticize capitalism and to provide a, a vision of what a capitalist liberal world looks like and get them excited about it. And that's, I think that's the only way we can, we, can, we, can change, uh, we can change the direction of, that the world is really heading in. Well, Mr. Brook, uh, let's talk about Brazil now. You know uh, that we are coming now, maybe a little bit late.